Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey what's up guys, MKBHD here, back with another high definition screencast video for youtube.com slash lockernome and lockernome.com. Today we're going to be taking a look at a URL shortener that has recently emerged as being public called goo.gl or the Google URL shortener. Now as you guys know, bit.ly or bit.ly has been probably the most widely used and the most popular URL shortener out there. And uh, Google really aims to take, take a step uh, to make this a lot simpler and to make this a little bit easier to use and yet uh, introduce a lot of the same features uh, that Bitly still has. So what I have here is my Google account, of course. I keep this email open because I do appreciate people emailing me with questions and things that I do answer all the time. So basically what you can do is, of course, paste or enter your long URL here and shorten it like any other URL shortener. Now at the bottom you can see all the long URL shorteners you've, or long URLs that you've shortened in the past two hours, in the past day, in the past week, in the past month, or just just of all time. So I'll go ahead and see uh, these are all uh, that I've shortened in the past day and in the past week all the clicks that they've gotten. So next to each URL we'll go ahead and uh, view my YouTube link down here as an example. You can see the shortened version and the long version. You can also see the date that it was shortened which is October 1st. You can see how many clicks it has gotten in total and just a little mini graph which is pretty cool. Uh, of all the clicks over time. So if we view details, this is something that I think Google really excels at. It'll automatically bring you something uh, that Bitly really doesn't give you quite as comprehensive a look at. So up here at the top you have a QR code, which I think is very cool. And of course the information we had before and the total number of clicks. But if we scroll down to the bottom here, what you also have is a chronological graph of how many clicks per day at certain times that it's gotten. So you can see on this particular day it had 31 clicks and this day over here I probably posted this to Twitter or something, it got 11 clicks and something like that. You also get refers over on the right hand side. And my favorite part and why I'm probably going to be using this URL shortener from now on is visitor profile. This gives you a really complex and really detailed view of where people are viewing, uh, where people are clicking on your URLs, what they are clicking it on and how are they viewing it. So you can see that the vast majority of my viewers are in the US or the UK, and those are the people who are clicking on the URL. In fact, 36 of those 69 people were in the United States. Something also, I mean, you can view that there's you know one click from India, one click from Croatia, things like that. Also, what I thought was very cool was that 27 of those people, the most of uh, any other browser, were in Chrome, which I think is pretty cool. So you can actually... Uh, adjust to your target audience. If you've been tweeting a lot or uh, shortening URLs and sending those out to your social networks a lot about Firefox, you might see those numbers go up or you might see the, those numbers go down, which I think is pretty cool. You can also see what platform people are on. So you can see there are 37 Windows users, 13 Mac users, and then you can see also the mobile users. So 12 people click this mobile browser and you know there's the iPod browser. Maybe someone was in their Twitter client and an iPod Touch and they clicked on it and opened it in their mobile browser. So that's very cool. So overall, this has been a quick tour of the new, newly released to the public Google goo.gl URL shortener. I highly suggest you, you get a chance to check this out if you haven't already started to uh, take a look at it. Bitly is something that's been around for a while and Google is really aiming to challenge that. And your opinions are welcomed in the comments section below as I will be monitoring that as well. Until next time, this has been MKBHD. Take care. Peace.